Hello, welcome to the tutorial for purchasing Tanganyika Wildlife Park Season Passes. We have a brand new online store this year. We're really excited about it. You can purchase everything from season passes to behind the scenes experiences, wildly different experiences, and even regular day passes. Now the site is new, and so some people might be confused, so we created this tutorial. Now for most people buying season passes, you're going to start at our season pass page. You're going to click here from Facebook or an email or wherever you might see it. But when you scroll down starting March 1st, you'll see a link right here. It says purchase season passes. You can click that and it'll take you to our products page. This is where you'll see all the season pass options. This year we have two different season pass options. We have the regular season pass, which includes unlimited visits from March 16th to November 11th. And we also have the Season Pass Plus that has some additional benefits we'll go over in a second. We also have the Frequent Feeder Pass this year, which includes five animal interactions each time you come. However, there are some new changes with that as well. Now, to add any of these cart to your cart, you can simply just click Add to Cart. Or you can click the product itself, and it'll give you a little bit more information about what you're purchasing. Now on the Season Pass Plus, like I mentioned, it had some additional benefits including the unlimited visits. It includes one animal interaction per visit, five food, beverage, and gift shop purchases, 5% off, 5% off birthday party packages, and 10% off special events like pumpkins at the park and twilight tour. So with all those discounts and even animal interactions, you can easily get that $10 back which is one or two purchases. So you can add them to your cart from this page as well just by clicking the Add to Cart button. You'll notice you can't click Quantity. So if you want to add multiple passes, you just have to continue to click Add to Cart. And every time you add something, it'll show it right here. Now if you want a breakout of what you purchased, click the Checkout and it'll take you to our shopping cart. And it'll show you, okay, we have one adult Season Pass Plus, another Season, adult, season Pass Plus adult, and a regular season pass adult. But wait a minute, we wanted to add some kids. So we can click categories, season passes, and go ahead and add kids to the membership. So let's add a couple of kids. <clears throat> They're each going to get one interaction now with that, but maybe we want them to have more interactions. So we can add the frequent feeder pass. Now normally when you come to the park, you can buy five interactions for $10, or you can do a one-time $25 and get it five interactions each time you come. Now this year the frequent feeder pass is not tied to a specific person. It's tied to an account. What does that mean? So if you have two kids for instance, you could buy one frequent feeder pass and a different kid could wear that each time you come. Or if you want you can go ahead and just add two frequent feeder passes and they could both have five additional interactions each time you visit. So uh, we had two kids. Let's go ahead and add two interactions there. And we'll go back to checkout. Now you can see we have two adults, two kids, two frequent feeder passes, but we have this extra adult we don't want in here. Now we can't change the quantity like before, so we have to just go ahead and click remove, and they're no longer in there. Now before we check out, one important thing this year is we're encouraging everybody to purchase season passes for their household. So if for instance uh, you're a grandma or grandpa and you want to buy season passes for all your kids and grandkids, we're encouraging you to do a separate transaction for each household. There's a very important reason for that and it has to do with them being able to create and manage their own account which I'll kind of go over in more detail here in a second. However, if you're not sure how to do that, you don't feel, you feel, feel comfortable calling us, you can go ahead and add them all and we can try to break them out later. Um, the problem, one of the problems is with the frequent feeder pass, since it's tied to the account, we can't really transfer that. So one option may just to be buy Season Pass Plus, Pass Plus for all the kids, the Season Pass Plus for all the kids, and then go ahead and have them add frequent feeder passes later. But let's go ahead and check out. Now it's going to make you create an account. This is what I was referring to. This is going to pop up blank because you've never had an account before. So you'll have to go down here and click create an account. 
So we'll go ahead and quickly create an account. We'll autofill some options here. Now, uh, you, you're going to have to create an email address. If you don't have an email address, hopefully someone that is going to be a member or season pass holder has an email address that you can use because we're going to need that in order to send you your receipt, your login to the member portal, as well as communicate you, with you throughout the season as far as if we're having special days for season pass holders, if there's any special vouchers or special things for them to re redeem. Um, so it's going to be very important that you have an email address. So we'll create uh, an email address here. All right, create an account. And it'll take you back to the shopping cart page where you'll see you're now logged in. You can manage your members and do a lot of different great stuff with that new with our new system. But right now we just need to go ahead and check out. So from this screen, you're going to want to add members to the different season pass holders. So right here we have a season pass plus now we've only created one member that's Johnny and if we try to add him you'll see the age restrictions applied so we can't add Johnny who's an adult to a season pass plus now if you do have a two-year-old you can still add him to the child so that uh, if they're turning three later in the season you can take advantage of the 1999 special right now so we do have Johnny so we'll go ahead and add Johnny right here as a new member and then we'll click add new member now let's add uh, Jane. Uh, and then we can also add new members by going down here and clicking add new member. And we'll go ahead and add one more new member. Okay, so we now have Johnny, Claire, Jane, and Luke, so we can add them to their appropriate um, appropriate membership. Now I'm going to go and add Luke, and you notice it said the age restriction is incorrect. I accidentally entered his birth date incorrectly. So what I can do, this is one of the great new systems, I've already created an account, I can go to manage members, I can select the member, I can come down here, change his birth date to the proper day, save changes, since I'm logged in, I can go straight back to my cart, hit checkout, and then just add everybody back to the, uh, so Luke went through, do Jane, and check out.